Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create full width sections with content that is centered. It's a bit difficult to explain, so you know what? Let's dive in and let me show you how to create these full sections with centered content. If you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have a bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to create professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do after you've bought Divi is to send me a message via my email or if you go to funnels to income.com in the chat support uh, bubble on the bottom right, just drop me uh, a message there saying you've bought the theme and I will give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start here by creating a brand new page. So I'm just gonna say add new and we're gonna give this page a title. So I'm just gonna call this section design, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. So this now is going to take me to my main builder and I'm going to build this from scratch. So I'm gonna choose build from scratch. And what I'm gonna go with here is two equal columns, right? So in the first column, what we're gonna have is an image. So I'm gonna add my image in here and I might as well go in and choose my image from my media library. So I'm gonna go with this one right here, click upload an image and save. Over here, we're going to add a bunch of text. So let's add a few text modules. So I'm gonna go, that's my first one here. Let's use some lorem text. So I'm gonna go to lorem two. All right, so I'm gonna copy this text and then I'm gonna paste it in here. That next, I'm gonna add a title to this. So I'm just gonna copy maybe a bit of this text and use it as a title. So I'm gonna save this first one duplicate this and then go in here and add my title. So let's set this to H1. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm gonna save that. And then over here, we also need a button for a call to action. So I'm gonna search for my button module. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So the next stage now is to really make our image fill in the space and also have everything centered over here on the right uh, with the text. So to do that, we need to uh, come over here to row settings. So first of all, you wanna come over here to design, click on settings and set this to 100%. And I'm gonna copy this 100%. And here on maximum width, this needs to be set to 100% because currently you can see it's set at 1080. So this content here is in within a 1080 structure. So we want this to be 100%, so it goes edge to edge. So I'm gonna go back over here, click on design sizing, and then I'm gonna set my 100% here. So now everything is all edge to edge. The next stage is to equalize column heights because here, as you can see, we want everything to be, you know, to have similar heights. So we're going to need to activate uh, equalize column heights. So I'm gonna do that and save. Now we have a problem. So as you can see, everything is over here to the end, but on the top here, things are not looking good. So you know what? I can go in here and remove all this uh, space. So let's start here with the top, because I can see here that we might have some bottom padding or margins. I don't know where that space is coming from. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here I'm gonna leave it as it is. But as you can see, the problem that we have is our text here is all the way to the top. Ideally, we want it centered here. That's how the layout would look great. So what you wanna do now is, and I need to go back to that step because this step is very important. So over here, remember on sizing, we made sure equalized column heights is set to yes. The next stage now is to go to the advanced custom CSS. And this is where now we're going to add a bit of CSS code to center everything. Right, so the code that we need to add comes here in the main element. So I'm gonna paste it. And as you can see, as soon as I've entered this code, everything is all aligned center now. So that's looking much, much better. Now let's save this and look at that. That is awesome. So what we need to do next, we need to make sure that this looks great on all devices. So let's, so let's take a look. So as you can see here, not looking great at all. 
Let's fix that. So I'm going to go back. Now, what I need to do is to go back into my row settings, click on the second column, and then go to design. So over here on the spacing, this is where we're going to add our uh, margins. So I'm going to start here with, with uh, 10%. Now, the reason why I like using percent is because this usually works really well on uh, mobile devices. So let's increase it here. In fact, you know what? Let's have 7% and 3% to the left. Now let's take a quick look here and see if that's working. Okay, we're getting there. So I guess we need to go into our settings here. So on the phone, Let's start with the tablet. So here in the tablet, let's add more space. So let's say 10%, 10%, and then let's do the same to the top as well and the bottom. All right, so now that's looking much, much better. So let's go to the phone. And to be honest on the phone, it looks great as well. So it's the desktop that we need to worry about here. So let's take a look. So I'm going to save that. And let's switch over here to the desktop. And to be honest, it's looking okay. Now, the next thing I need to do to make this really flash uh, in my section is to go into my section settings, design, spacing, and I am going to remove the padding both to the top and the bottom. I'm going to save that. And then we can see here we also have a bit of padding here in our row, se in our row settings. So I'm going to go to design, spacing, and add zero to the top and bottom. So now everything looks great. So it's all centered. And over here, our image looks great as well. And let's publish this and take a quick look at three devices. So now here I am on my tablet and the phone. So as you can see, this is looking much better. Let's go back in now and stylize this and make it look awesome. So I'm going to go into my paragraph text first, click on design, and then I'm going to go on text, change my font. So we can either go for EB Garamond here. I know I've been using Poppins a lot, so I'm just trying to avoid that. Right, so let's go to 22. This also needs some line height. There we go. So I think 1.8 works for this. Save that, and then I'm also going to go into my title here. Click on heading one, change this from default to EB Garamon. The colors here are okay, to be honest. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the size to about 46. Save that. And now I can go in and work on my button my call to action button. So I'm going to go into design button, use custom styles for button. And then I can uh, now play around with my design. So let's add our background here. But to be honest, that color is ugly. So it's not working with that. So let's change it. Okay, there we go. That looks much better. Right? So that's my color. My border width is let's remove the border width and border radius. Right, let's set this to 100. All right, so button letter spacing, we're going to leave that as it is. And for our font, let's see what happens when we add our font here. You know what? Cap doesn't look great. Let's make this bold. That's much better. Okay, I think I like that. Now, all I have to do is to save this. And for you to see this nicely, let's add another section. And let's give this a color so it separates from our background. There we go. So now when we take a look at this section, it's much better because the content here is all centered. Now, the challenge with this is before, if you wanted to try and center it, we will do it in a ridiculous way. In fact, let me show you how we would do it. So it's always tempting. Let's add an image here. So I'm going to add my image module. So the old school way is to add your image like that. And then when you add your text module, 
it's always tempting to try and in fact you know what let me just uh let's just change the color here of the text okay there we go so it is tempting that once you have it set up like this you want to go in and add some margin to that but to be honest this option here doesn't really work well because it'll give you problems when you switch to different tablet views and so on so this way here uh, ensures that you have a proper layout that looks great on all devices. So that's all I have for you in today's video. If you find this tip uh, helpful, let me know in the comments box below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.